What's going on everybody? I am in a different state than I normally am. I am up here in Virginia and I'm getting ready to do some really awesome kayaking on a brand new river never been on. It's the South Fork of the Shenandoah River. And on top of all that, I got a special guy I'm going with today. A guy, someone I've been wanting to fish with for a while. We finally worked it out. You probably already know who this is. Got the fish hawk over here. Uh, Mr. Fish Hawk, you haven't done this either. Nope. But uh, tell us what you're expecting out of the day. Uh, I'm expecting some smallmouth, maybe some largemouth, maybe some crappy, bluegill, all kinds of stuff. There's even muskie in here, so Ooh, we have yeah. a chance to hook into a muskie. But uh, it's going to be a hot one. Hopefully we can get some fish in the boat. Yeah, we got a four mile stretch that we uh, mapped out and um, we've never done it. And the water is kind of low, but it's really clear. And yeah, there could be a lot of different fish in here. And there's supposed to be a really high population of smallmouth in this area. So I'm really hoping to get on some of those. but. Let's, uh, we've been sitting here trying to get our kayaks together for 20 minutes, so we need a time, time to get in the water. Let's get to it. Mm -hmm. It's deeper than it looks like out here. Whether they're going to be hitting what we have is another thing, but... Yeah. Dude, that was like a three. There's one. There's one. <laughs> Dude, this is that was too early. I don't, I don't know. That was way too fast. We hadn't even been in the water for a minute. I just saw a giant smallmouth cast over here, caught a little one. I think we are going to wear them out today. No! Hold on, hold on, I'll try to get a picture. All right, well. I don't know if you can see that. There's the first one. Dude. Holy cow. Dude, there's giants. Really? They're everywhere. I haven't seen any big small like that. I mean, I can't tell how big, but that's like at least two pounds. I've seen at least over two pounds. Dude, there's a couple catfish right here. This place is crazy. Cats. Yeah, there were like there were two channel cats like side by side at his little pocket. I swam off when I came up on them. Yeah. Oh yeah, I see them. Oh, uh, there's a catfish, I think. Oh, there we go. Smally? Little smiley. Dude, there is so much fish in here. We, did, we didn't even have to leave this hole. We could have just fished this hole probably and go back. There's catfish, there's... Dude, huge catfish everywhere. Yeah, dude. I'd like to hook some of them. Yeah, I want There we go. Eat it, eat it, eat it. Got him. I watched him come over. He wouldn't eat it right away. He kind of took a second. I had to twitch it in front of him. They're tearing up this crawl puppy. We're gonna get a bigger one. I've seen some big fish already. Oh, they're killing this thing. I don't, yeah, I see them. Dude, I've never seen somebody, I've never seen catfish like this. Dude, there's a school of like 30 of them. They're just swarming. Crazy. Four fish in 15 minutes. Another one there. There's one. First one on the jig. I threw a little little uh, small booyah jig with a yum crawl chunk or a crawl chunk trailer. I couldn't believe that little guy hit it, but I'm going for some of these bigger ones. I know there's a lot of bigger ones in there. Yeah, 
Oh, nice. Ready? Yep. Yeah. Good? All right. Let's get the release on it. Make sure I'm actually. Look at that for small mouth. Oh, see that one hit it? That's a nice one. Yeah. I just saw him sitting over there. I threw it. He hammered it. He was waiting to eat. That's the best one of the day. I thought it was a catfish. It looks so dark. That's more like it. <laughs> nice. Mm, ooh, 13 and a half. That's a solid smallmouth for floating in the river. That thing just smoked it. Eagle right up in the tree above us here. Ouch. Probably looking to eat one of these little smallies. Dude, they can't turn this thing down. Little went back to that yum crawl poppy. I threw the jig for a while. I think I got one. Went back to this little yum crawl poppy and these little guys are just hammering it. Pretty blue guy, <laughs> There they are. Eh. I feel like six or seven little small ones follow my swim bait. Finally one ate it. <laughs> That's funny, I was just watching them. Ouch! All right, we're just only like an hour and a half in, just time to change the batteries. We've already caught like a ton of fish and seen, it's unreal how many fish we've seen. Uh, I, like, I like observing and just exploring as much as I like fishing. And um, this guy over here, if you don't know who he is, he catches all kinds of fish. Like, what's your go-to like fishing though? Like, what's your favorite thing if you had a choice to go catch? Favorite all time, probably small creek trout fishing. Yeah, he does a lot of trout fishing. Does a lot of little creek fishing and stuff like that, and ultralight, and uh, kind of a lot of stuff I do. But he does. He focuses more on trout. So if you haven't checked him out, which most of y'all probably already have, just go out and check out his channel. I can't wait to get back in here, and we got some more floating. It's hot, but uh, we get out and stay in the water and cool down, and just. You can't stop watching these fish. There's so many fish out here, so let's get back to it. Oh, check this place out. Yeah, we're about a thunderstorm coming over. We went and got something to eat. I feel good, but uh, we got, we may have to wait a little bit and see what this uh, storm's gonna do. We just came over to a new section of river and we're gonna check it out and it looks awesome. We got three, we're gonna float three miles down further, but let's see what happens first. Well, if this looks familiar, because it already happened, <laughs> we're back putting it at the same ramp again, but we're just gonna go upstream a little bit and maybe downstream just a little bit. There's a big calm section. We saw so many fish in this one hole. Uh, it kind of came through a storm, it lightning like right by our head over there on that pole. Uh, it got a little bit of rain coming down, but we think the storm's gone. 
And but we know that there's a lot of fish in this hole, so we're gonna go in here, hopefully get some good fish out of here, and at least fish a couple more hours. What? I got a tiny one. <laughs> Keep thinking anytime it's be a bigger one, but now nope, doesn't seem like it. Not if these guys got anything to do with it. <laughs> I may have given in a little bit to these smaller fish. I'm gonna try this little uh I like this little lure here, this little, I forget what it's called, a little Bobby Garland lure. It's perfect for these little bass. Oh yeah, that's a solid one there, that thing smacked it. Maybe we should just stick with that small lure, maybe doing better off. Maybe biggest one of the day. Can't see. Dude, it is a nice fish. Have to net him. One net it. Yeah, this is the kind of fish I wanted to get. Nice. Whew. And it was on a little Bobby Garland pile diver. Well, there's my bigger one today. He's 16 and a quarter. Beautiful Shenandoah River smallmouth. We were hoping to get into some of these today. We saw tons of them. The, the weather it was really hot, then it stormed, and we got back, we did decide to get back in the water. So I'm glad we made a little effort to get back out here. He crushed that little bitty pile diver of all lures. The smallest thing I've thrown today. And um, just gotta find those ones that are ready to hit. But man, what a beautiful place this has been. Me and Tyler have been having a blast just seeing all the sights and everything. So let me get this guy back in the water. I know there's a lot of giants in here, but I'm happy to at least get a, we got a bunch of smallmouth today and a couple good quality ones. All right, yeah, that's nice. Oh yeah. Oh, ho, ho. what did I hook? Huh? I got something big. You got something big? I think I, I think it's a smallmouth. Oh, it's not even as big as that other one. He took off. Oh man, he just like peel off drag. Yeah. I thought it was a catfish. He's a 14 and a half. That's another solid small. He's got a uh, crawl pincher, big old crawl pincher sticking out of his belly. 14 and a half inches. Yeah, I can handle a few more of those. That thing hit really hard. That little pile diver just must be a perfect little, little like a crawl looking thing, just something that they're gonna eat and they're, uh, they're eating it good. Nice fish there. Holy cow, that thing is huge. Oh my goodness. What the 
head on that thing. Man, that's a giant turtle. I saw a couple large ones sitting over here, but I couldn't get them to bite. Pretty good sized ones. Ooh, we're going down the last section here. Well, we, we already went through this section earlier, but we're gonna go down probably to the end of it down there, right down there, and then that'll probably be it for the day. I'll watch that one eat it. There's so many fish that there was four or five looking at it, and I saw a different one, threw over there and got him. It's just, it's unreal how many fish population in this river. I'm not used to this type of smallmouth population near me. All right, getting towards the back of this pool, I think the bikes will start to pick up. Like I, it was real slow, I think they'll be start to be picking up, but I haven't seen the big smallmouth yet. I've seen some big largemouth. I just caught a 14 incher. Oh, nice. Smallmouth? Yeah. All right, made it to the back here. I need to turn around. Gonna whip it around here and head back upstream. Beat off. One eye is completely missing. <laughs> He's seen his better days. Sorry, buddy, for snagging you. Didn't mean to. Here he goes. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video because I had an awesome day out here. Um, it was kind of back and forth uh, what we were deciding to do. But yeah, got finally got a couple of really good smallmouth. Um, we of course there's there's giants out here and anywhere you go you're never gonna almost anywhere you go you're never gonna catch the biggest fish that one time you go there um so it was a great time there's so we caught so many smallmouth i'm sure i didn't put them all in there but like 10 inch size 10 11 inch size probably caught 30 a piece easy be sure and check out fish hawks channel he is so close to 100 000 subscribers and uh, that's a big deal for us youtubers to get over that 100 000 subscriber mark and uh it's something, something like it's a big accomplishment and everything we're trying to work towards of course we put a lot of effort into these videos and he makes great videos but um he got out and he's got an old town kayak also and he, he's got the uh the 106 so you go check out his channel to see what he thought is this is this your first time out on it first time out yeah. so it's his first time out on it and i actually want to get another one a 106 because i got the 120 i want the smaller one but um but i, I definitely like my big one here so go check out if you want to find out about his kayak and everything and this was the uh the south fork of the shenandoah river um of course it's a well-known river the shenandoah river and everything's well known and the, the smallmouth population I've, I've been wanting to fish some of these rivers up here that were just like loaded with the smallmouth and these places are loaded it was a great time hopefully we got some more content coming maybe tomorrow or the next day hopefully we'll get some fishing in but uh thanks for watching i appreciate all the support